uh, talk i will uh, discuss uh, in this webinar series uh, about the eco cements why a synergistic use of low graded industrial waste is and uh, the pursuit or the follow up of an alternative to opc for uh, 21st century so firstly i will briefly introduce about you about um, um, the various kind of uh, uh, eco cement newer binder available Uh, right now i will not discuss uh, like the manufacturing of opc because uh, those kind of issues has has been uh, discussed by the past uh, presenters uh, today also and uh, uh, yesterday also and uh, then after that i will discuss about the eco cements uh, using waste the global trend as well as in india uh, the institute like iit or nccpm or iit uh, like nits they are what what they are doing then the on the research gap on the basis of research gap we have uh, proposed one project in uh, ministry of environment um, last year and uh, we have got that project in which uh, what the r&d work we are uh, we are uh, uh, we are doing so i will discuss that in very brief um, about the experimental and materials method the synthesis protocol and uh, apart from that uh, not only we are just mixing uh, just synthesizing we are also doing some modeling that is stat statistical modeling microstructural modeling and uh, um, hydration modeling also and uh, in in uh, in after that i will discuss about uh, the conclusion of that uh, study that we are carrying out so as you know that uh, india is currently the second uh, largest consumer of cement behind uh, china and as per uh, mineral commodities survey um, of that 17 report um, it is uh, uh, depicted there that uh, cement production in 2015 was estimated at uh, 410 million ton out of which india um, contributes approximately 300 million ton and you can see um, the graph that is uh, below left that is the demand of uh, cement um, is increasing for the developing country um, like india also so there is uh, uh, this consumption is expected to grow between 6 to 10 percentage annually meaning that the market is expected to double every 8 to 12 years so at the same time the indian government has set a target for uh, reducing because a lot of ind indian industries and also globally they are uh, they are now uh, uh, focusing on the reduction of co2 emission because this is the ma major uh, ghg greenhouse gas emission contributor and uh, intensity of that one is uh, by uh, reduction in in intensity should be by 20% so in cement production as you know that uh, limestone is basic primarily uh, raw materials but indian cement industry uh, is facing uh, a shortage of that um, high grade limestone raw material uh, uh, for manufacturing of opc so um, source from unfsc you can see here that uh, total limestone reserves is about 125 billion ton out of that forest or restricted area from which you can't do mining is about 35 billion ton so remaining left is 90 billion ton and out of which about uh, 10 percentage is uh, um, that is 9 9 billion ton is high grade and uh, low or marginal grade is about 81 uh, billion ton so now um, uh, 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 it's the lower marginal grade uh, limestone should be used although many industry are using but the waste that is generated from the um, from the mining area that should be also utilized by pro after proper beneficiation so these are some uh, news cutting that uh, you can see that uh, in the in the past also in the uh, recent era uh, various industries are committed uh, for co2 sequestration uh, ramco industry uh, cement industry looks to extend life of limestone mines and also they are uh, conserving limestone and they are also planning to develop some uh, some newly cementitious binder not only develop because uh, after developing uh, uh, many research institute have developed but they are not implemented yet in the market due to the uh, due, due to the uh, because the indian standard are not available so uh, the current trend is uh, uh, going on over the hills Apa apart from that uh, utilizing of high silica low grade uh, limestone in the cement is also in the current perspective importance uh, in the recent uh, 10 days back you can see here that california moves closer to net zero cement co2 strategy uh, so this uh, this these two slide shows the uh, uh, the importance that 
the carbon uh, emission is a global ch challenge during the production of cement hence urgently a serious thought is essential not only to use low graded industrial waste in india for production of uh, uh, desirable uh, amount of uh, uh, that uh, desirable uh, strength and uh, other properties but also to minimize the clinkering temperature uh, generally you know that uh, the clinkering temperature is about 1400 to 1450 and uh, to use alternative binders also uh, so that the carbon footprint should be reduced so with the present rate of consumption if uh, uh, if you if, if you will see that the available limestone reserves india can sustain only about uh, 35 to 40 years so low grade limestone deposits is creating uh, major environmental problems like air land and water pollution in india about 60% of uh, deposits are either marginal grade or low grade which contain uh, high amount of silica about 16 to 20 percentage or high magnesia content about 6 to 12 uh, percentage or even more also so there is huge scope to minimize clinkering temperature by um, by using some flexing agent or uh, grinding energy and use of uh, um, other alternative low energy binders to uh, reduce uh, carbon footprint so uh, so um, this uh, this talk has two part in the first part i will discuss uh, what uh, different kind of uh, newly binders are uh, are available but uh, but uh, some some of the people are not so much aware of so uh, and then the second part out of these uh, binders what we are doing here in csi or cbri so what we have done i will discuss in the later in the later half of this uh, this talk so there are uh, majorly nine kind of uh, newly alternative binders that is lc3 uh, the indian code is uh, about to come from uh, in which iit delhi iit madras and other institute uh, um, such as iit bombay tara etc they are uh, they are doing so it is about to come and uh, uh, second one is csab cement in which uh, we here at uh, csi or cbri working iit madras uh, uh, professor pius chosali is also working in this area then algally activated cement that is quite popular and many of the many of indian institution research institution are are have have done a lot of work in this area our uh, our institute have also worked in this area um, yesterday professor sk singh has uh, uh, talked uh, um, about this kind of cement in detail then reactive dialyte rich portland cement that is rbpc um, this is also one kind of cement in which um, bellite content is quite uh, quite high and uh, um, all, uh, and the fineness is uh, is very high so the bellite is uh, highly reactive in uh, in case of higher temperature also then is uh, after that uh, magnesium oxide mgo based cement and uh, um, right now uh, china and other countries uh, are using this kind of cement uh, for co2 sequestration uh, then sixth one is uh, byf cement in which major phases are bellite ulmite and ferrite then seventh one is ccsc that is carbonatable calcium silicate cements this is also 21st century binder and the eighth one is csa that is that is a calcium sulfo aluminate uh, cement uh, and ninth is uh, calitement cement so uh, many of the people are aware of this lc3 that lc3 is composed of uh, 50% of clinker 30% of uh, kaolinite clay and uh, 15% is of uh, um, limestone which can be limestone slurry also or limestone powder uh, also apart from limestone people have used uh, marble slurry also and other kind of slurry also up to 15% and gypsum also to achieve cementitious binders with low clinker factor about 0.5 to 0.55 and without reduction in the compressive strength so the durability properties of this cement have been found uh, to be superior uh, to the other uh, conventional cement like opc and especially in chloride and sulfate exposure and with the reactive aggregates too if you if you will see uh, the group of uh, professor manu santanam uh, their group is working has work a um, lot of work in the area of durability so you you will find lot of paper uh, or research paper uh, uh, on the durability aspect of this lc3 and for uh, early age hydration process and the temperature dependent uh, temperature uh, in the different uh, curing temperature how this lc3 behaves um, uh, professor uh, sasang bishnoi has worked and uh, um, i am currently working uh, uh, in his uh, group so uh, 
So Pillai et al. Uh, in 19, they have confirmed that carbon footprint print of LC3 concrete was lower uh, than that of OPC concrete uh, with the, the same 28 days. So here I am only uh, giving only the conclusion for detail. You can see their paper, research paper that are already available online. So uh, in the other research finding, calcium rich phages uh, in LC3 uh, cement uh, delayed uh, the ASR uh, gel formation and develop uh, high C by S um, um, ratio uh, ASR gel and you know that that if the ASR gel has high C by S ratio then um, the uh, the expansion will be um, will, will be low if it is uh, more if, sorry if it is uh, low C by S ratio uh, that ASR gel then uh, it will be very sticky and uh, the expansion will be uh, will be quite high and which can uh, cause uh, the durability problems so uh, in the further study uh, young uh, in uh, recently uh, uh, has published have done numerical uh, simulation for chloride diffusion and they have found that lc3 concrete can uh, contain uh, more port poor torticities even at the higher water binder ratio than fly as concretes so these are the findings you can go through them and uh, uh, misra et al i will focus in this study misra et al in uh, 2019 they have uh, they have uh, they have uh, uh, cured LC3 at uh, uh, different temperature by varying uh, gypsum uh, up to 5 to 8 percentage and they have found that uh, after uh, increasing of uh, uh, gypsum content the amount of hemicarbo almonate phages were decreases and uh, similarly they have found from the microstructure that uh, the bellite reaction was quite low as compared to the other three phages so they have found that this data is published uh, in the journal of material and structure so you can go uh, through this article in detail the next one is csab cement uh, in which we are working here in cabri uh, uh, which is generally conventionally typically produced uh, by sintering fly ash gypsum and uh, limestone at temperature of about 1200 degrees centigrade the ma major phases are yellemite uh, beta c2s that is uh, uh, dicalcium silicate and ferrite phage and uh, yellowmite is uh, contributes early age strength uh, development which is the alter which, which is the um, alternative to uh, elite the the work that uh, elite uh, do in uh, case of opc the same work is uh, done by yellowmite so and beta beta c2s of course uh, contributes uh, to long term strength development as compared to opc the developed uh, csab cement uh, saves about uh, 25 to 30 percentage of uh, uh, that and with the reduction of uh, limestone and CO2 by 60 and 20% uh, respectively. And CSAB clinker is uh, softer and has uh, lesser hardness uh, than OPC clinker and uh, therefore it consumes lesser uh, grinding energy. So till now uh, various researchers have used uh, um, um, uh, various kind of waste such as uh, aluminium rich sludge uh, uh, and uh, aluminium anodization sludge uh, CFBC ashes and uh, CCR residues. So they have used, and these are the research, research finding. And uh, the la I will discuss only this thing that uh, the study is conducted by my et al in uh, 2013. They have noticed that CSAB cement with fineness of 357 shows the uh, 28 days compressive strength of 50 MP at water binder ratio of water cement ratio of uh, 0.38, while uh, 28 days strength of OPC that is con uh, conventional cement was. Uh, 53.2 MPa. So it, it shows that uh, the, the this cement can be used as alternative to uh, that OPC. Now the other is uh, geopolymer or alkali activated cement in which the major phase is uh, in which high amount of aluminosilicate is used and uh, as binder phases and can be used as alternative to OPC. Like OPC, what is not uh, required, what is, water is not able to hydrate the aluminosilicate. Um, however, in, in alkaline medium, uh, uh, um, that this AAC can hydrate and form a 3D uh, polymeric structure. So this is uh, the, the the bottom part in which fly ash is, uh, if you, you will use with the alkali activator at certain temperature and time, then uh, binding material uh, can be developed. So like that, uh, these are some models in which uh, you can see the steps. Firstly, chemical attack will be there, then uh, dissolution of different phages, then NASH precipitation will be there with the uh, uh, silica by alumina ratio of one, then further uh, for polymerization will be there, then silica alumina ratio of about two, then further more polymerization and growth of in the fo form of 3D, micro, uh, 3D polymeric structure will be there. So uh, 
this kind of material has been quite used um, in the past and right, right now the, there is revolution is trending in this uh, in this area and many industries in india also in the global also like in india kiran geopolymer is using this kind of techno uh, this kind of uh, uh, material and um, he has taken the technology from uh, csir cbri two years back so this is quite uh, popular now next is reactive belite rich portland cement that is rbpc uh, which has high belite content and uh, it is considered uh, uh, as family of opc binder and contains about 40% uh, of belite um, and uh, less than 35% of allied contains so um, of course um, if the belite is more then allied to belite ratio will be uh, will be lower as compared to um, opc cement uh, as you know that c3s require more consumption of specific energy and co2 emission i will discuss in the letter uh, than the ca2s therefore rbpc this kind of cement require um, less um, specific energy and uh, about 10% lower uh, contribution to um, greenhouse gases uh, this is this study has been uh, conducted by epfl uh, by Dr. Uh, professor karen scrivener in 2018 so for detail you can read her article the lamp saturation factor um, decreases from 100 to 75 percentage you can see the graph below and uh, which redu reduces the energy requirement by uh, 12 to 13 percentage and reduction of co2 emission by 6 to 7 percentage so these are some uh, more finding uh, magnesium oxide cement uh, which is um, which, which can be considered as eco cement and uh, first manufactured in uh, tasmania and mgo cement has found in the two chemical form firstly uh, firstly uh, magnesium carbonate and uh, secondly is magnesium silicate and this brucite uh, which form the brucite um, after calcination and that brucite can form magnesium carbonate uh, after uh, carbonation process and the bind main binding phases are uh, uh, are given here that has been uh, der derived by um, different researchers next is bif cement um, in which the ma major phases are c2s and c4a3s phases uh, the most reactive phase is belite followed by elamite and ferrite basically this is intermediate technology which falls between the traditional opc and the csa te te uh, that um, uh, calcium sulfur alumate cement technology the uh, major reaction when as3 phase is available the formation of strangelites will be there and at the later ages uh, catoite will be formed and that uh, that uh, um, further some other phases will be formed in the form of uh, c3s2h6 and uh, other phases also next next is carbonatable calcium silicate cement uh, which can be produced using low uh, lime mineral like uh, wollastonite this type of clinker require lime up to 40 percentage while opc require um, you know that lime contained up to 70 percentage and due to which the resultant decrement of about co2 emission 30 percent will, will be there so cc uh, sp cement require lower clinkering temperature about 1200 degrees centigrade which is about 250 degrees centigrade lesser than uh, the conventional opc uh, manufacturing technology the, and this uh, produced cement clinker is hydrated in uh, co2 gas environment at controlled temperature and uh, standard relative humidity so this uh, kind of special concrete can be used uh, um, um, for uh, cement product without reinforcement due to uh, the typical curing procedure adopted because the carbonation is uh, conducted in, the, in this process and uh, which lowers down the pH of concrete masses up to uh, less than 9 or about 9. Eighth one is CSA cement which can be considered as, as the newer cement is binders and initial this kind of cement uh, were used to manufacture self-stressed concrete pipes and uh, uh, this contains about 30 percent is of belite 35 to 70 percent is of elamite and gypsum as as major phases the reaction protocols are given here without and with calcium hydroxide during the production of csa cement thermal energy reduces up to 25 percent along with the reduction of co2 emission by 20 percent as uh, compared to opc so uh, the last one is calitement uh, cement uh, which were developed by, by kit and uh, uh, considered as a newer cement is binder the raw materials used are um, similar as that of opc which is uh, carbonates uh, and silicates and in silicates uh, ggps flyers uh, they can be used c by s ratio um, can be maintained in between one to two and um, you can see that the use of this kind of cement can reduce the carbon footprint by up to uh, 50 to 55 percentage 
so till now i have discussed uh, briefly about uh, the uh, current trend global trend new year binders for uh, 21st century eco cements uh, using wastes um, and uh, now i will discuss more about uh, the r and d work but prior to that um, some uh, kind of research uh, research that have been published in the past i will very briefly in two to three slide i will discuss and um, the motivation of research i will discuss followed by that so this is uh, the lab prepared eco clinker using uh, low graded wastes so till now opc clinker from various kind of industrial waste has been developed like slag uh, from blast furnace uh, uh, steel making furnace slag uh, wastes from chrome copper slag uh, sewage sludge uh, drinking water treatment plant uh, sludge furnace sludge at different temperature ranging from 1350 uh, for uh, 1450 1400 and uh, 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 Dr. Askerwal, I think he he might be presented here from NCCBM. Uh, 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 his group has developed the uh, eco clinker uh, using uh, gerosite and uh, uh, I think copper also. They have developed um, gerosite is a zinc industry byproduct. They have uh, used uh, uh, they have developed the eco clinker at uh, different uh, at different temperature uh, ranging from 1300 to 1450, and they have found that. Uh, Uh, flexing and uh, mineralizing components such as iron sulfur sodium potassium zinc in gerosite uh, enhances the reactivity of raw metals and they can be used as flexing agent and improves uh, the uh, lime assimilation and the lime consumption uh, and the compressive strength improves by 7 to 25 percentage so you can go uh, the article uh, they have published in uh, their research in the uh, the, uh, the the international journal and then the um, 2018 and 19 uh, some researcher from china uh, they have uh, used slag iron oxide sludge dry um, sewage sludge they have uh, they have used and they have found that at 28 days the strength of eco um, uh, eco cement was similar you can see here in the figure 1 uh, as compared uh, as that of opc and um, um, and in the figure 2 you can see that for all the eco cement the 28 days mechanical strength wo, uh, would be approximately equal to that of Uh, opc so you can see here next is csab cement csab cement this cement is quite popular uh, in china japan russia but not so much in india uh, uh, and uh, it can be promoted as a sustainable alternative to opc and because of lower energy consumption and as well as reduction of co2 emission and the major two advantages are reduction of uh, um at least uh, 30 percentage of carbon footprint and cost minimization about uh, 20 to 25 percentage uh, relative to opc so the researchers in the past um, uh, they have used um, um uh, combustion s cc coal combustion residue uh, sludge and uh, aluminum rich sludge sludge waste uh, they have used and um, um, they have found that uh, uh, the the properties that is the dif different kind of physical mechanical uh, uh, properties compressive strength flexural strength was quite similar as that uh, of opc so what was the uh, systematic deposition what is the what should be the systematic deposition uh, deposit ex uh, exploitation plan so as you know that uh, there um, there are various uh, method that has been ad adopted by indian uh, indian cement industry um, <coughs> presently to, to utilize um, low graded uh, Um, limestone for cement manufacture they they are using computerized mine planning uh, uh, pit head quality uh, multi multi mine uh, scheduling etc and many more uh, advanced technique um, uh, they are using for blending low or um, low marginal or high grade limestone and uh, which can which enhances the utilization of low grade or marginal grade limestone to some extent but uh, in spite of these uh, techniques a considerable quantity of queries uh, are uh, generated every year Uh, uh, you, if you will see the in the area of Rajasthan um, about uh, Jalawad or Ramagan Mandi or um, uh, some area of uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh also, which has no use and creating additional uh, Karnataka also granite granite waste waste is uh, um, generated lot of and uh, th that waste is creating additional environmental problem. So uh, this table shows that uh, uh, the um, the pure uh, clinker compound how much. Uh, uh, that chemical uh, carbon dioxide emission will be um, there if you will uh, generate uh, one ton of alite then 5779 uh, amount of that uh, co2 emission will be there uh, belite then 512 uh, will be there 
so for cement for uh, opc the uh, the major phases are elite pelite the f- first four one but uh, if you will uh, but if you will um, develop the csab cement so the major phases are uh, number 2 that is belite and then uh, elemite c4a3s that has the co2 emission of 216 only uh, these are only two major phases uh, so you will you will see if you will see the calculation of the the amount of co2 emission uh, will be there if you will use the csab cement so that, that will be quite low about 45 to 50% quite less so uh, so this kind of newly cementitious binders should be uh, synthesized the one only problem is um, uh, some cost issues there uh, so low graded industrial waste which has no cost um, they should be used to synthesize the newer cementitious binder so that uh, the cost will be minimized and of course the these kind of um, uh, binder will be used then of course the, due to the phase composition the chemical uh, carbon dioxide emission will be of course will be less as compared to opc so for production of uh, 500 million ton of clinker you know that the limestone requirement will be around uh, uh, 700 million ton and the developed the cement will be uh, will help in conserving the natural resources by utilizing low graded uh, uh, limestone and other waste also so csab will generate about 30 percent is of Uh, less co2 than as compared to conventional opc clinker which is quite in use and uh, which will uh, reduce the burning temperature of of about 200 degree centigrade fuel consumption of about 10 uh, percentage and electricity cost about 15 percentage these are tentative so but we are minimizing we are synthesizing we are improving uh, um, the the these uh, data uh, as lower edge possible so addition of high quality of bauxite is uh, as I, i was discussing in the last slide is very expensive so the additional addition of waste material containing aluminum such as fly ash and the use of other industrial uh, by product that is by product gypsum um, can be considered so thus it is expected that the developed uh, cementitious binder will meet comparable properties of the physico mechanical requirement of that of opc so uh, i will discuss now the r and d work that is going on uh, 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 the, uh, in this area, that is development of uh, low energy, low carbon eco cement is binder via synergistic use of low graded industrial industrial waste. This project has been funded by Ministry of uh, of Environment and Forest. Um, for three years, uh, one year has been passed, and the ongoing activities are um, we are we are we are we have done the we are doing the trials uh, to develop eco cement uh, in uh, in which we are. Uh, we are seeing the influences of um, raw mix composition and different uh, uh, burning temperature we are uh, we are following different uh, sintering protocols uh, we are seeing the different uh, dif- we are we are optimizing the different uh, uh, phase formation by adding the flexing agents and the cor- correspondence between the predicted phases and the real phase um, uh, composition and the influences of uh, the quantity of different phases on the hydration and uh, microstructural development Uh, experimentally as well as uh, uh, numerical modeling uh, uh, and statistical modeling so uh, uh, then uh, thermodynamic calculation of uh, ternary uh, um, calcium oxide silicon dioxide and alumina and quaternary because these four phase uh, the game of these four phases are only there to understand the uh, cement chemistry and phase equilibrium so evaluation of different cement phase uh, formation uh, uh, we are seeing we are uh, through phase diagram and hydration study so prior to that um, 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 i have visited the mangalam uh, the cement plant in kota uh, that is uh, uh, mangalam cement plant you can see here um, in the bottom slide the um, the clean and uh, uh, in the right in the right uh, bottom uh, in the micron size myself and uh, uh, one of that quality control manager we are discussing Uh, about whether they have used uh, this uh, li- uh, this uh, low graded limestone or other kind of waste that is uh, um, that, that is generated near their site so they have said that uh, yes they have used but uh, due to certain uh, certain uh, quality attributes and uh, uh, certain uh, the uh, certain uh, physico mechanically at, at, um, uh, attributes their compressive strength was quite low and uh, uh, there, there was uh, soundness issue also so they were not able to use uh, uh, the uh, the low graded waste so so we have associated with the, them 
and after that we have uh, we have collected the samples uh, from different sites we have uh, we have done the um, the characterization titration analysis uh, chemical study uh, <coughs> determination of uh, uh, total organic carbon lime content also and uh, free lime content um, um, and uh, to, um, that uh, clay content you, um, using methylene blue index so uh, we have done that by calcining so we have calcined that um, that uh, low graded limestone at uh, half hour one hour two hour and uh, four hour just to see prior to development of composite cement so uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, um, this study has uh, uh, two part in one part a synthesis of uh, opc using low graded waste so uh, composite cement that i will call composite cement this is first development of composite cement so then after that we have done the soundness soundness test using lee satellier apparatus then setting time we have used uh, automatic setting time uh, uh, that apparatus uh, because uh, conventional wicket apparatus is quite absurd method because if you will do the setting time study in the summer the setting time will be will be high and the, for the same sample if you will do the study in the winter it will be um, um, Sorry, in the summer it will be low, and in the winter it will be quite high due to the the hydration process. So we have we have we have used uh, the automatic wicket apparatus in which in which you can um, you can you can uh, you can maintain uh, the temperature in which you want to study your setting time uh, um, that uh, calculation ranging from 20 to 40 degrees centigrade. So we have done that. We have also determined the compressive strength. Uh, flexural strength and other uh, study studies also so these are some data uh, i have we have done the many trials but i will show the some data that is uh, <coughs> calcium carbonate determination we have done then sulfur uh, was uh, determination was done clay content uh, or should be um, um, should be in the desirable limit because uh, if the clay amount is higher then it can um, um, it can um, absorb the the water intake and uh, uh, whatever the water intake you will uh, add um, into the cement uh, that matrix according uh, to the calculation of consistency so suppose you, your consistency is <coughs> is coming about 28 percentage so if you will add 28 percentage of water so about uh, if clay content is higher than the desirable limit in that cement so the about two to three percentage of that water will be uh, will be absorbed that uh, by that this, that clay so see so your hydration will be uh, affected by that uh, clay content so we have uh, we have done the methylene blue index uh, you can see here in the uh, in, in the slide this dot 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 is is the methylene blue index test after filtration this uh, study has been conducted and that we have uh, after that we have uh, also determined the physical properties uh, fineness setting time also soundness compressive strength um, uh, at a different uh, uh, mixing level uh, i am i have shown only 75 percentage opc and 25 percentage of uh, low grade stone waste uh, after uh, calculation at different uh, level uh, half hour one two and four and uh, loss of uh, ignition also uh, also we have uh, determined the reactivity of uh, low graded waste uh, that is purely low graded waste as per IS712, so 14 days and 28 days uh, strength was uh, determined, and uh, I have seen that uh, as the calcination time was increased, um, the compressive strength was um, increased, and uh, you can see that 28 days strength as per IS712 for lime it should be about uh, 3 MPa, but um, uh, but uh, what I have seen that uh, it was uh, for for half hour for half hour it was just double about 6. Point uh, to uh, zero to not MPA, it was um, because of that uh, waste was not only hydraulic, it was also latent. So this was active and latent uh, um, binder uh, because of active lime and silica present. So also the replacement level, uh, the replacement of this uh, this uh, this uh, um, reactive filler was done with OPC at different replacement level 5, 10, 20, 15 and 30 percent is the data for initial setting time is given here and uh, it was it was found that uh, the setting time was reduced as the calcination time was increased uh, from 0 to 
four hours. It was also it was confirmed uh, using the isothermal calorimetry study. That is uh, neat OPC uh, paste, then OPC with the ten percentage of uncalcined uh, uh, that um, um, uh, low graded uh, that uh, slurry waste, and uh, ten percentage of calcined uh, slurry waste. So you can see here in the in the left bottom part, uh, the uh, induction per period was uh, reduced. and the graph was shifted in towards the left and uh, you if you will see uh, in the uh, bottom uh, right uh, after 4 uh, days if you will see the graph of uh, opc plus 10 percentage of uh, calcined uh, uh, that uh, waste uh, that uh, reactive filler so that graph is uh, taking um, cross over effect that is after 4 uh, days the strength of that uh, that, this, that uh, heat generated uh, during the hydration process uh, was was started um, increasing uh, as compared to opc and opc plus uh, 10 percentage of uncalcined uh, that uh, slurry so um, i hope that you will remember this graph because uh, this thing i will discuss um, during the discussion of uh, uh, microstructural modeling uh, in th in that microstructural uh, numerical modeling and uh, i will discuss the same thing so we, you will you can correlate uh, this data with uh, the slide after uh, on the slide number i think um, 40 or 41 so you you can correlate this graph so some more studies like uh, compressive strength and it was found that um, uh, if you will use uh, unprocessed uh, um, low grade limestone slurry then uh, only up to uh, 15% can be used but this thing uh, i have uh, tell you that uh, industry are using um, uh, this uh, limestone slurry but only amount of uh, 10 to 15 percent is but the main problem is uh, there is tremendous amount of slurry is available uh, and every year about 5 to 6 million ton of uh, slurry is uh, generated uh, 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 from the uh, limestone and uh, limestone uh, polishing and uh, quarry mines so the main aim is to use as much as possible um, the that uh, slurry after um, either uh, the processing or mechanical processing or thermal processing or any else any anything else method so low grade incorporated composite cement was developed like lc3 so in lc3 we have found that standard consistent consistency was uh, about uh, um 32.5 to 40 uh, uh, sorry, sorry 34.0 and if you will see the uh, for um, composite cement developed at cbri it was at, um, 27.5 for opc commercial uh, that is commercially available for um, that is ultra tech cement it was it ranged from uh, 26 to 29 for different batches for ppc it was 29 about so initial setting time uh, was <coughs> given here Uh, uh, for composite composite cement it was about uh, uh, 110 and 28 days uh, mortar cube strength 70 mm uh, mortar cube strength was 46.4 to 48.6 it, um, and i have found that the water cement ratio was um, approximately comparable with the that that of uh, opc and ppc so um, uh, and mixed proportion was uh, optimized at uh, these levels and in the second phase the synthesis has been done regarding that eco cement so what we are using is more grade limestone that is uh, available in the area of uh, that uh, Rama, uh, that uh, ramanganj mandi mangalam mangalam cement is using this uh, this thing uh, that this blue part is using uh, the our conventional raw material so they are using by uh, cement industry high grade limestone bauxite blue dust uh we are trying to replace uh, low grade slurry from different sites fly ash red mud and um, gypsum by product so um, uh, firstly uh, uh, as uh, as all of you know, know that the xrf uh, um, study was conducted uh, to determine the, the calcium oxide silica alumina and uh, iron oxide because prior to the synthesis of eco cement we have done the uh, the analytical measurement that what should what would be the tentative uh, uh, amount of uh, different phases uh, like c3s c2s c um, c4af and uh, calcium uh, tricalcium aluminate i will show further in the slide uh, let me show you this is the this is a program that has been developed by me i mean in this um, in this pro in this program uh, 
uh, different kind different kind of raw material at which amount just enter the oxide and um, and um, using the uh, multiplication multiplication factor using the stoichiometry coefficient um, the tentative amount of feedstock composition will be uh, can be calcul calculated prior to the synthesis of uh, that eco cement so you can just get the idea that uh, what amount of uh, the primary raw material primary feed clean material <coughs> should be there just tentatively and you can match Uh, after the clinkering or uh, clinkering, suppose uh, uh, after clinkering you have the nodules. Just grind it and do the again XRF and then just compare it. So you will get the idea that how much deviation uh, uh, that is that uh, researcher is getting out. So for for carrying uh, for as an input uh, uh, data, uh, the XRF study is uh, has been conducted and uh, also. the the sintering of um, um, uh, the sintering of uh, this the grain depends on the particle size distribution so and uh, the grain growth and uh, diffusion of one grain into the other and uh, and um, these all all are, all are the powder metallurgy process so for that the particle size uh, distribution uh, and uh, different at uh, different finance we have done the different trials about 75 trials we have uh, we have done and uh, for uh, clinker uh, preparation uh, four kind of modulus that is hydration modulus silica modulus alumina modulus and lime saturation factor they have optimized uh, uh, at different levels uh, but within the certain range and uh, the range that we have followed are given here so this is the program that has been developed by me and uh, in total 75 mixes were synthesized so these are eight mixes that i have given just for just an for overview and uh, this is the this is the uh, uh, sintering protocol uh, one of the sintering protocol we have uh, used about uh, uh, 25 uh, sintering protocol and uh, cylindrical pellets of size uh, 50 mm by 10 mm the height uh, has been used uh, with compaction and without compaction um uh, for 75 mixes were made for uh, before sintering at different sintering temperature so uh, and uh, different dwelling time and soaking time different heating rate so we are also seeing the influence of uh, uh, different kind of heating rate uh, what would be the influence of uh, dwelling time so or you can say the soaking time on the on, during on the synthesis of that eco cement um, including the total firing time and uh, also uh, we are seeing the effect of fineness also fineness level so for that this is very cumbersome process so for that uh, we are uh, following the statistical modeling in which uh, in which uh, we will do uh, the process parameter optimization using uh, um, the the global desirability function and the central central composite design and also box mankin design using response surface methodology so we will find the what is the most sensitive parameter either it is fineness or it is um, heating rate uh, or it is uh, dwelling time soaking time or uh, what is that so uh, so we will uh, we will see that i will i will show show the data so this is the laboratory prepared uh, uh, the Uh, what uh, how we proceed so this is the laboratory prepared eco cements uh, and uh, after that we conduct uh, after th that we grind that and after that xrf analysis then isothermal calorimetry analysis we conduct uh, this isothermal calorimetry analysis for eco cement is four five uh, mixes and for uh, you can see here mix 1 2 3 ec1 ec2 for ec uh, i have uh, shown you for two only that is uh, ec1 is uh, Uh, contains uh, 73 percentage of natural resources uh, in form of high grade limestone uh, low grade limestone and mo uh, that uh, more grade limestone fly ash and uh, red mud blue dust and uh, ec2 contains um, about uh, uh, 4.5 natural resources and 95.5 percentage of waste so these are just trial uh, we have not uh, reached up, uh, the optimum mix we are because uh, this project only uh, one year passed so we are uh, we are doing for to finalize the optimized uh, mix uh, and this that will be finalized after the statistical modeling uh, using the experimental data so now i will discuss uh, uh, um, very briefly about the microstructural hydration modeling uh, how uh, how we are uh, correlating the experimental data 
because um, if you will do experimentation um, um, whatever whatever the data you will get you will satisfy with that okay suppose you have casted um, um, by taking um, suppose um, x amount of uh, cement and y amount of that inert filler on y z amount of act um, that reactive filler and the strength is strength is come on, coming about 45 mpa so you will say okay then that's that should become 45 mpa but what should be theoretically theoretically it should come so it should come it um, that modeling part that is purely based on the theoretical rules uh, cement hydration rules and uh, different kind of diffusion process and uh, uh, dissolution process uh, topochemical reactions what should be the microstructure and uh, what should be the degree of hydration reaction constant rate constant precipitation theories also lot of things uh, will be incorporated has been incorporated uh, during the modeling <laughs> so in model in this uh, this uh, uh, discrete modeling uh, 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 three steps is there so firstly firstly 100 by 100 by 100 uh, micron size of uh, 2d microstructure has been developed um, um, and then uh, the in the assigning the different kind of phases using the autocorrelation functions uh, uh, and that converts the conversion of that uh, first step into the second in the form of 3d microstructure so 1 million of pixel will be there and that 1 million pixel uh, pic uh, that pixel are allowed to diffuse uh, and uh, precipitate randomly with each other so burning of that uh, Uh, those pixel will will be done uh, simultaneously um, spontaneously um, uh, and uh, the phases different phases such as allylite belylite and uh, uh, that tri calcium aluminate and ferrite phase also um, although ferrite has uh, very less impact in uh, in the different kind of physico mechanical and um, other kind of attributes but that phase is also assigned in that microstructural modeling and uh, so uh, and after that Um, through the uh, um, certain uh, hydration rules and the certain protocols uh, the determination of uh, different uh, output parameters in the form of um, uh, hydration um, heat cumulative hydration heat um, that um, um, ph electrical conductivity um, alpha mass alpha is a degree of hydration or volume or chemical shrinkage has been determined <laughs> so you can see here uh, this this is a brief so um, see the the uh, left top part so you just enter the random seam seat number um, um, then add the spherical particle um, you can add cement or gypsum or pozzolana to the microstructure then allow to flocculate then measure the global uh, phase friction so this program is uh, was on the uh, lean uh, that linux platform using using c c++ and java um, java language and you can add the aggregate to the microstructure then measure the single phase uh, connectivity pores or solids and the output uh, the microstructural to the file so uh, that output file will be used as the input file uh, just i will show you the something just in the you just see the uh, the bottom right uh, here enter name of file to read initial microstructure from so this microstructure that is 2d microstructure uh from the first step will be used there as the input of that second step so now you can enter the id um, using the, the different stoichiometric co coefficients so these are the uh, like c3s for c2s c3a c4a gypsum hemihydrate anhydrate aggregate etc and uh, if uh, uh, if if uh, some other phases also developed so so you you have to do some coding like for elmite phase or some other phase so it can also be incorporated and then out of output of that uh, this uh, second step will be in the form of this so uh, in the form of cycle time and uh, uh, alpha volume as i have told you alpha mass and heat of hydration gel space ratio uh, and uh, here you can see here chemical shrinkage also now just you just draw the graph and uh, or uh, you just determine the graph from um, the standard uh, um, process like isothermal calorimetry you just do the, uh, uh, calculate um, the standard procedure like xrd or chemical shrinkage apparatus is there you just calculate and then correlate and just you just see the then the uh, the deviation that how much your um, your experimental data is deviated from the this uh, numerical data then you will understand that uh, that uh, 
whether you are in the right direction whether the, the quality control of your experimental procedure either the addition or mixing or curing time curing type or uh, curing temperature or your your uh, uh, cement grade or whatever or uh, uh, your uh, way of casting or testing uh, are standard or sub standard so you can you can get idea after that in the in the vector modeling the microstructural part of modeling was done by uh, by introducing um, the spherical size of uh, cement grain um, ranging from 5 to 90 micron and um, the the the, uh, the major assumption assumption was this one and topo chemical reaction and uh, and, uh, and the precipitation etc were, were allowed and uh, and, and it was uh, it was found that for eco cement that i i have developed it was found that at different water cement ratio you can see here that uh, inner product is uh, red one sorry it is not yellow outer product is yellow one and uh, this uh, um, this uh, this uh, uh, this microfine uh, this uh, uh, limestone slurry or any other active filler uh, with contact area if it is uh, if the fineness is uh, high then contact area will be uh, more if fineness is fineness is low uh, fineness is, is low then contact area will be less so more is the fineness then the that material will be act as uh, will impart more nucleation site and will contribute uh, to the, towards the more strength development more will be the strength less will be the porosity so this kind of uh, study has been conducted and it was found that for eco cement uh, at water cement ratio 0.40 0.45 and 0.55 as the water cement ratio was increased as um, all of you know using um, uh, the power law you know uh, that uh, strength is proportional to gel space ratio and uh, strength uh, more the strength if the porosity is high the strength will be low and uh, if the water cement ratio is high then uh, the strength uh, uh, will be low Uh, typically and uh, if water cement ratio is high uh, then the porosity um, um, will be high typically so uh, as you can see if you will move um, from left to right uh, the porosity uh, was increased i will show the data porosity in the next um, few few slides and uh, it was found uh, through uh, modeling that uh, uh, these three kind of uh, situation i have taken in the left part just show you uh, no filler at a degree of adhesion 0.8 and uh, in the bottom uh, sorry in the middle it is it is with inert filler uh, that is unprocessed uh, about uh, uh, 15% days of inert filler and the, the, in the right one is now uh, with active filler and uh, progress of hydration from uh, top to bottom now previous slide i will i will discuss with you so 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 the microstructural modeling 2d microstructural modeling has been done and and uh, and it was found that with the is the microstructure improves from top to bottom and uh, and when you will see from left to right when uh, when inert filler filler was there then microstructure was improved uh, as compared to no filler that is control uh, opc uh but uh, um, it was due to the physical not chemical so much uh, it was due to the formation of nucleation site and if you will activate that uh, that uh, that uh, uh, waste that filler then the microstructure was quite improved uh, as compared to uh, that no filler and with inert filler at the same degree of hydration and how it was improved the porosity <coughs> if you measure the phase fraction Uh, the porosity was uh, uh, if you will see that uh, porosity was uh, is decreasing from left to right from 5.6 percentage uh, 1.8 percentage and uh, 2.5 percentage uh, the amount of uh, 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 binding uh, that uh, csh gel or uh, that uh, pozzolanic gel was increased uh, if you will uh, uh, if, if you will move from uh, left to right the uh, below one is the same micrographs the experimental micrograph so the numerical study was compared uh, with this uh, the actual same micrograph uh, at the same degree of hydration so the important point is that for numer numerical simulation the degree of hydration and the other parameters 
uh, and uh, that uh, curing temperature uh, and the mixing type uh, it should be uh, it should be same it should not be that uh, if you uh, you are uh, you are doing the numerical sim simulation uh, at different degree of hydration and uh, you have casted the experimental uh, um, uh, experimental um, uh, samples at uh, different degree of uh, sorry the uh, after deg different degree of hydration so it, it will not work so uh, so it was conducted according to that uh, so the so summary is so with continuation to that uh, i want to tell you that further we are doing the thermodynamic modeling one of um, one of uh, um, the phd student which is working in this project is uh, focusing on that part and also uh, we are further uh, in the process of optimizing uh, the optimized uh, mix using the statistical models and the most sensitive parameters one of our uh, one of uh, my mtech student is working on this uh, uh, statistical modeling part so the summary is uh, what i have discussed uh, nine alternative cement and out of which some of binders such as csa cement which can replace um, um, that um, conventional opc clinker and the conventional um, raw material which is quite often used to produce opc clinker can be replaced fully or partly so um, so this is a long uh, cumbersome ex exercise to develop the new um, cementesis binder uh, results of a new series of experiments uh, has been performed on a cement paste were uh, presented together with the numerical and uh, an analytical also sim simulation of the hydration process of the and of the development of microstructure so uh, in the last there is a need to establish uh, cement standards because um, uh, if, if i will say that use this cement or if any researcher will say <coughs> use this cement uh, the common people will not use Yeah, so some india so there is requ required that indian uh, cement standard for uh, the whatever the newer cement uh, binder is developed should be there and also along with practical guidelines that uh, what should be the practical guidelines like uh, geopolymer is a special kind of cement so it, it so it, that uh, alkali activated cement should be handled very properly uh, otherwise uh, the handling uh, person can uh, can have the problems like itching and all so before the production of some of the newer cementesis binders ultimately to meet of the sustainability development goals in cement production the suitable uh, techno economical um, strategical uh, planning vision from the industry owners are much needed in the current scenario so this is these are the project staff uh, till now that uh, the work that has been done uh, uh, by me and uh, in the in the and now the project staff they are vigorously um, uh, working to carry out the further um, uh, research work and they are helping me out like in the thermodynamic modeling uh, mr abhishek srivastav he is doing phd uh, and uh, um, on the uh, his, his tentative thesis title uh, his studies on uh, synthesized low energy eco cement tcs binders why are synergistic use of low graded uh, industrial wastes and uh, mr anurag he is doing uh, mtech under my supervision and uh, his uh, uh, title um, the, of that uh, this is his multi attribute optimization using uh, uh, derringer's desirability function of low graded industrial waste blended eco cementesis binder using uh, rsm this uh, response surface methodology and uh, um, to other project staff mr chandrasekhar sharma and uh, mr ankit prakash yadav Uh, they are uh, carrying uh, out and uh, they are actively uh, involved uh, to carry out the experimental um, uh, material processing testing in the lab in the field also so they are actively working uh, in this project in the last i will say the onus is ultimately is on us so the meaning the meaning of, of uh, this is that the responsibility or onus Uh, for the for uh, researchers for uh, academicians are to synthesize to develop the eco cement using the low graded or or marginal grade of uh, uh, waste and the onus for the industry persons they they should uh, promote they should they should uh, adopt the technology whatever developed after only after um, i mean after the standard indian standard code arrival and the and the onus for the For the end user, for the uh, for the common people, 
the onus for them is they should use uh, without without hesitation if uh, if that uh, newly cementitious binder is already has been used in the globally perspective and uh, if the indian cement standards are available so ultimately the onus is on us so with that i will thank you all for giving your uh, valuable time so uh, thank you everyone